Good day, everybody. The last two and a half months or so have been a run in my announcing career unlike any I've had before. It all began February 28th when Regis University, Regis Rangers here, get to host a few rounds of the Armac Women's Basketball Tournament. I get to do Regis' first game, February 28th. Then the semifinals, both semifinals, were held at Regis March 3rd. And then March 4th, an instant classic, the Armac Women's Basketball Championship game, Regis and the Colorado School of Mines. Won by Regis 65-61 in a game that neither team led by double digits at any point. Had multiple lead changes. Certainly a game I'll remember for a long time. And an opportunity I would not have had if not for the fine run of the women's basketball team, which finished 10th in the Armac the previous year. Definitely a great job by head coach Molly Marin, assistants Jesse Craig, Jason Kohler, players like Aaron Fry, Athena Saragosa, among others. Gave Regis a lot to be proud of and gave me something to remember for years. Now on March 2nd, I get to work at the Denver Coliseum, did the first two of five games in the Chasa Colorado High School Activities Association state basketball tournament. And on March 11th, did my first basketball state championship, a girls basketball game between Windsor and Roosevelt, won by Roosevelt, 54-44. Another moment to remember, and I'll have more on Chazza in a little bit. In the months of March and April and early May, I get to do Regis University's baseball and softball season, softball little up and down under coach Nicole Thompson, but they did get a big win over CCU, the clear top team in the Ermac this year. Certainly something for coach Thompson and the crew to remember. Also, good players like Jesse Case helping Regis do well in softball and get that big win over CCU. And then the baseball team had some ups and downs, but they did have a 13-game win streak and made it all the way to the championship game of the Armac tournament before falling to Colorado Mesa University. And I didn't announce that Armac tournament, by the way, that was in Grand Junction, but still, fine season out of Regis. Coaches Drew Lacombe, Pat Jolly, Matt Louts, and others, players like Matt Marlowe, big contributors, and a fine season for Regis University baseball. Yet to do another baseball season at Dakota Bridge. Certainly a difficult one. I'll touch more on that in a little bit, but still get to work at the alma mater thanks to coaches like Jeff Legault and Shane Fujita keeping me going there. Certainly appreciated. And then over here, did the Golden Baseball season. And they've had a fine run thanks to Coach Jackie McBroom for hooking me up there and getting me another opportunity at Golden High School. In continuing with my run, I did get to announce the Armac Women's Lacrosse Tournament that Regis University got to host, and they won it. And then Regis University also got to host part of the regional tournament. They hosted the West Regional for Division II Women's Lacrosse. And though Regis lost its first game to Grand Valley State, certainly they had a year to remember and a job well done by Coach Sarah Kellner. Getting the crew there to new heights. Getting them to the NCAA, getting them to host the NCAA tournament. And something I get to announce that also thanks to... I give credit to my first boss, Jake Brantley, and now my current boss, David Wilson, the Assistant Athletic Director in Communications, for keeping me going there. Keeping me with Regis University. Got me to do the NCAA Women's Lacrosse Tournament, at least part of it, on the Division II side just last week. Now also last week I get to do the High School Boys Volleyball State Championship for the third straight year. and It was won by Discovery Canyon. They beat Eagle Crest in four sets. And by the way, Grand Valley State won the regional on the Women's Lacrosse side, advanced to the national semifinal but on the high school side, Discovery Canyon winning its second straight boys volleyball title. I get to do most of that tournament. Thanks to some friends of mine, Lake and Cooper, 
Bethany Brookins, the Associate Commissioner, and Lincoln, who's Bethany's assistant. Also getting along well with guys like Rashawn Davis, Jen Roberts, Ulig. Among others, with Chess, are very appreciative of that opportunity that came last week, same weekend, as the NCAA Division II Women's Lacrosse Tournament. A round of it that I got to do. And then, my run is not quite over yet, as these guys, the Golden Demons, will be hosting a district tournament in baseball this weekend. I don't know I'll be privileged enough to call that as Golden as host. They've asked me to announce it, and I am certainly appreciative of that opportunity Coach Jackie McBroom and the program have presented me. As fine a road as this has been, I know it's not been without some adversity as well. I mentioned in an earlier video my elementary school, Coloro, is set to close only about a week away from its last day for students. That's certainly a bittersweet thing. They had an open house last week, but I couldn't go to it. I was obviously busy with volleyball, high school volleyball, college lacrosse. That happens. Probably take one last walk around the school some weekend. And then, of course, I mentioned this in another video. Death of Brady Hose, the former Dakota Ridge baseball player and Dakota Ridge baseball team that didn't make the playoffs this year, but that's a secondary thing for me anyway, the fact that they were able to even play after the death of Brady on March 31st. Certainly mind-blowing to me. And a job well done by the coaches and the players and the parents, too, all of them, to keep everything together and somehow get through the season. And you talk about mixed emotions... Mixed emotions. On April 18th, I will never forget this. I called a golden baseball game in which pitcher Noah Wicks delivered a six-inning perfect game against Stanley Lake and hit two home runs. Golden won the game 10-0. That's why the game was shortened to six innings. So I'm on a high. I've seen something very cool, very out of the ordinary from a golden player in Noah Wicks, and then... Two hours, maybe even less than two hours later, I was at a candlelight vigil for Brady Hose. Talk about mixed emotions from up to down. That was one of the best and worst nights I've had, to say the least. Still, though, I've had a run to remember with sports, and I wanted to pass it along and give credit where credit's due. All the way around, because I know I obviously couldn't do this alone. Without people believing in me. And without people doing the job well. Like Golden obviously has, or they wouldn't be hosting a district like Dakota Ridge obviously has, or I wouldn't be there. And of course, Chas and Regis University, all of them have done the job well. They've all believed in me. And I've gotten more big events than ever because of them. So those are my thoughts for the day. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you down the road. Meantime, take care, everyone.